and welcome to our super sandwich making superhero video bowl video. No. Sure. No, that makes welcome. no sense. Let me try again. This is the second sandwich making we've done. The first one was on the Captain America Civil War Trailer 2 spoof, and that goes into a bit more detail describing the various stages, phases, and animation types. So check out that one for more information if you're interested. All right, cool. So let's get into it. So the first step was to decide exactly which heroes were going to participate in this battle. So we made up this list of heroes, and I don't think all these names were ultimately included. We tried to limit it to popular recurring movie heroes who fight, with some exceptions. A few anti-heroes may have slipped through, I'm sorry. And this color key helped show which powers and abilities each character had, and that helped us to decide the best way to combine certain characters, for example, putting all the archers together, putting all the Harrison Ford characters together, and so on. Ideas for certain actions were jotted down in this notebook as well, and once we had enough ideas, we put them all into this final script, which I don't think changed too much. That was the writing stage. Stage two is doing the voices. These were mainly recorded in July of 2016, with some redos and the end screen voices in January 2017. This was back when we were still recording voices in the closet without the clothes in there, except for that uh, jumper there, which says, I came to dance on it. I don't know whose jumper that is, and I swear I've never worn it in my life. I did not come to dance. The trick is always to find that key line or lines of dialogue for each character that can help you get back into the zone. It usually requires many takes to get something that's approaching the correct voice, at least for me it does. So all up, it was about six and a half hours worth of material to sift through to find those diamonds in the rough or in my case, basalt. And for the first time ever, we recorded video of all the recording sessions, and some of that appears at the end of this video. Yay. Stage three, guide audio. So in Pro Tools, six and a half hours worth of recording gets diced down into just the very best takes. Best, loose term, which are then grouped together. And then it's another culling process to narrow that down into the best of the best takes, the ultimate hero takes. It's kind of like the battle itself, isn't it? All these takes vying for the top spot. A lot of time it's not even just the best taste, it gets narrowed down to the best words or the best syllables, which then have to be combined into like a super take. The guide audio for the superhero bowl was a lot more involved because there was so much action without dialogue. Every punch, stab, gunshot had to be represented in the guide audio. That's green there for the dialogue, blue for the sound effects. Hundreds and hundreds of different clips, all just by imagining what it's going to look like, trying to guess how long it's going to take between punches, how long it takes for any unspoken reactions, and so on. No music either to help time it out, so gaps have to be left for the purely musical moments. And yeah, guide audio. And now it's time for stage four, the video, which is the biggest stage, of course. Unlike other Toon Sandwiches, where we can use the trailer as a guide, this required a full-length rough animation guide, which is mostly just these stick figure still images, except for the combat action moments, which required more of a frame-by-frame -frame stick figure guide. The full rough guide can also be viewed at the end of this video, along with the voiceover videos. It's like a picture-in-picture -picture maximum movie mode magic thingy me bob. Except lame. The first step here was to collect hundreds of reference images for all these different characters. A lot of them action figures, because it's very hard to find full body images of some of these characters from the films they're in. Finder says there's 478 images in this folder. That is a lot of hero porn. But it was essential to be able to draw all these different characters. Some were just drawn as heads because their bodies in the video were entirely keyframe animated. Those were the initial versions of the characters. Certain characters appear at different angles, obviously different limb positions, and of course all the different facial shapes have to be drawn. Every character has a different mouth, different eyes, different brow, and if they have to speak or they have to express with their face, those elements need different shapes, different configurations that can be swapped in and out. These are all the different mouths that appear in the video and all the different shapes for each. The mouths for Deadpool and Spider-Man were a bit different because they're wearing full head masks. It's just a jaw object that needs to be stretched up and down when they speak. Now you know the real reason why Deadpool won. So most of the animation is this thumbnail face animation using all the different shapes and substituting them when the character speaks or expresses. Or it's motion tweening animation which is drawing the objects and then moving and rotating them with keyframes. And adjusting the curves of those keyframes for smoother movement. The most complex stuff in this by far was all the frame by frame animation which was needed for the more complex fighting shots. This is where the more detailed animation guides were really useful. For these shots I switched to 12 frames per second instead of 24 to get them done faster. The outlines are drawn first and then they're coloured in and then high highlights or shadows are added to give it some more detail. There's an animation term called onion skinning. No idea why it's called that, but it means you're allowed to see the previous and subsequent frames as you're drawing the current one. So you can see where the B position needs to be to get whatever you're drawing to go from A to C. The Hulk transformation was definitely one of the most difficult shots. Shape tweening was mainly used for the head animation. This is where you have to cut up each piece of the head into simple shapes that can then be morphed from A to Z and the software will fill in everything in between. 
The only problem is it's unpredictable. Sometimes you have to force it to do what you want it to do. By threatening someone the software loves. Everything has pressure points. No, it's just by making simpler shapes. So here the nose wasn't transitioning correctly if it was just one shape, but by cutting it into three, to spite his face, it then worked. So these are the transitioning face elements all put together, but the body was all frame by frame animated. For transition shots like this, it becomes a case of dividing in two. So the shot was one second, 24 frames long. You have your start frame as Bruce Banner and your end frame as Hulk. Divide it in two, so you draw a halfway point at frame 12. Using those onion skin guides to split the difference, draw quarter frames at six and 18, eighth frames at three, nine, 15 and 21 and so on. And hopefully that results in a smooth transition from Banner to Hulk. Coloring also has to be transitioned. You can use a simple shape tween with an eyedropper to get those colors for each frame. And the clothing was done separately, also frame by frame. All that for one second, but hey, it's the Hulk. It's always tricky anytime two or more characters interact. You have to always consider the best and easiest approach. For example, if one character is impaling another character, that blade will be part of the impalee's object, not the impaler, which I guess is just common sense. This character interaction was definitely the trickiest simply because Luke had to have this glow effect added to him and Ghost Rider couldn't. So it ended up being a case of creating the animation with the two characters and then splitting it into five pieces and adding the glow to the Luke pieces only. Would you look at that? Here's a look at some of the weapons and objects that were created for all the different characters. Welcome to the gun show. Some of the hard surface characters and all the different pieces. And here's a look at all the different arm iterations for some of the key characters. All these different iterations are drawn as individual frames in a single arm object. And sometimes those frames feature multiple layers, for example, forearm, hand, weapon. Speaking of layers, and it's not just arms that require different iterations. There's torsos that uh, sustain damage throughout, uh, appear at different angles. Sometimes the straps are asymmetrical. Indy's weapons were part of his leg objects, so that required different iterations depending on what he was holding. Capes were a pain. The characters, and especially creature characters, are created by nesting objects. So this is a good example. You can see that the jaw object is a layer within the head object, which itself is a layer within the chest burst object, which itself is a layer within the Terminator object. Every object can be moved and rotated with animation, including the Terminator. And when it all plays out, it gives the illusion of organic movement. Drogon was certainly the most complex of these. His neck is made up of four different objects. It's allowed it to curve and squeeze. And you can see here that Daenerys herself is nested within the neck object. Creating simple objects, animating them, and then multiplying them in different ways creates some interesting effects. This was used for the Mystique transition, also the wheat field for the Gladiator vision. The Matrix code was definitely the most complex of these. Found a font online that gave all the different symbols, created a random sequence of that, put it into a vertical line as a mask with a colored rectangle traveling down it, and that was multiplied into a square grid and time offset so that the lines dripped down in a, the appearance of randomness. All that work, but the software wasn't able to render it. Kept crashing, but luckily it was able to export just those raw elements, bring them into Adobe After Effects, and that's where the Matrix shot was put together, which also allowed for this radial glow thing to be added. That was the only shot not animated in Adobe Flash, which I think is called Adobe Animate now. Good name, appropriate. And here are all the different, I call them elements, that were used in the Superhero Bowl. They're basically reusable little animations. All sorts of good stuff. And here's a look at how some of those elements were pieced together. Again, just simple objects being animated, copied, glow effects added, shape tweens for the dust and such. A lot of these elements are used more than once throughout the video. Debris was a big one. It was just creating a few different pieces, animating them to fly out. Random blood debris, Dr. Manhattan debris, Groot debris, Iceman debris, Optimus Prime debris, Terminator debris, thing debris. Debris isn't just a type of cheese. The Spock and Kirk skeletons were reused for all the characters. Dr. Manhattan explodes. There are about 10 different versions of this done because each character has a different starting position. Or should I say end position? Because they die. And once all that was done, the main animation, then it became about the background action. The background action was its own layer on the main timeline, which itself was a timeline that ran concurrently with all the foreground action. Did, wait, did that make any sense? I think it did. I think that made sense. Basically, it's like an entire other video running behind the main video. And these are all the little background characters. It's a 12 frame looping running cycle. Most of these background characters are made up of just five pieces, head, torso, an arm either side, and the legs. And they're all basically derived from these 11 characters, which were created for the Captain America Civil War trailer to spoof. <gasps> mouthful. I was able to use those as guide animations and draw over the top of them to create all these additional characters. 
That's why all the girls and all the guys kind of run the same, because they were all drawn over the top of Captain America and Black Widow. Of course, there's additional challenges with skirts and capes this time, and there were some specialty versions of some of these characters created for, sp 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 for, sp 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 for specific background moments, which can be glimpsed at certain points throughout the video, including the five hidden breadcrumb mentors. There they are. Yeah, so that's what they look like. I wonder where they appear in the actual video. Definitely worth checking out and re-watching and re-watching until you find them. Then of course there's the actual background and the crowd is comprised of these four different golden people at two different angles and with two different actions waving and clapping and they've all been arranged in this tier structure again as a 12 frame repeating animation repeating ad nauseum and it's pretty much the same background in every shot once the battle starts with a few exceptions which are mostly high angles but of course there's a few other backgrounds created for the opening sequence leading up to the battle utilizing some of these texture elements textures and oh look how pathetic this animation is what? But uh, it's a pretty wide shot. And the sky is a repeating animation as well. Fun trivia, the colour of the sky was inspired by the 1996 computer game Quake, which I used to play as a kid. And they had a purple sky. Amazing! Uh, final steps for the video are to put those hidden breadcrumbs in there, create the end screen and the video thumbnail. Always got to put that Marvel DC rivalry front and centre, right? I think they'd be good friends. For the first time, the video was too big to render out as one file from Adobe Flash. It only worked to split it up into four pieces, which were then put together in Adobe After Effects, which is where all the final stuff happens anyway. Adding the watermark, the end screen, end screen video, and then we export the final video. Done, but wait. There's music. The music for this was actually kind of fun because it incorporated a lot of different themes, which I really like. All done in uh, Apple GarageBand. This is me adding in some harp, trying to emulate a segment of John Williams' Battle of Yavin Q from Star Wars A New Hope. The moment that Obi-Wan's spirit says the words that Luke shamelessly rips off in our video. There were some interesting moments where I had to blend a couple of more themes together. For example, in the Harrison Ford sequence, you have the Indiana Jones theme blending into the Star Wars theme, which blends into the Blade Runner theme. Similarly, in this moment where Alan Sylvester's Avengers theme becomes Hans Zimmer's Batman theme with just a smidge of John Williams's Indiana Jones theme. It's bonkers. Was also able to reuse snippets of music from previous tune sandwiches. The opening and closing music were original compositions of my own and that's why they suck. Once all the music's been created, it's onto the final stage, which is the final audio. So that music is brought into Pro Tools and then all the final level adjustments are done, reverb added to the dialogue, additional sound effects. The evil voice of the golden orb was a combination of Rita and my voice both slightly pitched lower because as we all know evil people have deep voices it's just how that works multiple takes were combined for the war cry when they all run in my woeful attempt at that gladiator song and the end screen gladrial going psycho bit and once that's all done the final audio is exported and then the final video and the final audio are combined in quick time to create the final video with the final audio wait what the final what's the word movie thing the final dilly and then we upload and just cross our fingers that we don't offend too many people with our rampant inaccuracies. I mean, this wouldn't happen. Come on. Okay, the breakdown is done now, Rita. Oh, the breakdown's done. And now it's time. I know I said this was like a picture in picture. It's more like a picture next to picture thing. Because I, I can't handle like overlapping pictures. I'm like, well, you know, what's behind that picture? I want to see the full picture of the picture. Don't put a picture on a picture. If I want to see the full picture. The it's entire be... 10 minute video with us next to it doing all the voices that we used in the animation. And the animation guide and the raw audio. So it's behind the emerald curtain look. Except instead of an emerald curtain, it's <laughs> a dirty bedroom closet. Built in. Awkward. Here it is. Arise, warrior. The battle is about to begin. What battle? Where am I? Hey, where'd you get that? Put, Put on, on your, your uniform, uniform and enter the, the arena. arena. Hey, I'm not putting anything on until you tell me where I am. Ow! Okay, I'm putting it on but only because I want to. What the heck is this place? Oh my god. Something very familiar about this. Must be a new version of the Matrix. Wow, this is bloody disrespectful. Hey, where are we? What system is this? You are all here for one purpose. To decide once and for all which of you is the ultimate hero. The battle begins 
Now. Rorschach's journal appear to have been abducted by alien species to battle fellow costumed heroes on their home world. I refuse to fight for the entertainment of an alien species. Would not be the first time. If you, you refuse, refuse to fight, fight you, you agree to die. Oh! oh! I'm sorry, Jim. Spark! Does anyone else agree to die? I don't want to die. I want to live. Fight! This isn't Sparta! Expecto! The unexpected. I've got you in my sight. I can half see that. My name is Anigo Montoya. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. The name's Bond. James Bond. The name's Jason Bourne. At least I think it is. I'm Federal Agent Jack Bauer. These initials aren't big enough for the three of us. <laughs> Impossible. Yeah, I hear that a lot. Draw. You draw. Well, it's not my best work. Yeah. <laughs> Adamantium cuts vibranium. Damn it! I failed fictional chemistry. <laughs> Stay. Just my luck. The wrong planet at the wrong time. Go! 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 Quicksilver, you idiot. Ugh, oh, you're so lucky you don't have a brother. Tell me about it. I'm an orphan and a widow. Christmas at my place? <clears throat> Flame on! Flame off. Die, White Walker! Oh! Die, Snow! <laughs> Die, Tribute! Oh! Die, Orc! Ah! Die, Sky People! Sup? We're the real guardians of the galaxy! Ah! Ah! No, no, wait! I'm not an alien, I'm human! I. Yeah, why won't this helmet come off? Stop! I am Groot! Shadow. Oh. Freedom! Ah! Yes! I finally killed Bill. What? Ah, so satisfying. He has a particularly good set of skills. Oh. Uh. Want to trade shields? Oh! What the hell? Hey man, you're the one who put a target on it. Ah! Ah! This belongs in a museum. Ah! That's why I shoot first. Ah! Time to die, replicant. Ah! How dare you, sir! Ah! Get off my playing field. You're, you're all, all under, under arrest. arrest. Ah! Hasta la vista, babies. Get away from me if you want to live! Huh. Dracarys! Come on! T-800, meet Mark 46. Oh, I hope this can be buffed out. Oh, I... <clears throat> <gasps> See ya later, Terminator! Ugh. You mated with a space slug? Mm. Your master cannot help you now. Use the force, Ray. Let go. Mm. <gasps> yeah! Ah. I'm finally living up to my name! Oh. Two for one! I'm coming, Scarlet. Just give me 12 days to get there. I hate bugs. Puny human. Autobots, roll out. <gasps> Thank God he remembered to wear his underpants. Oh, I hate doctors. Life is a highly overrated phenomenon. No! Bloody hell. He's popped nearly everyone. Dr. Manhattan, if you truly believe life is meaningless, there's only one way to prove it to yourself and everyone else. Your logic is sound, Professor.
Who's going to clean all this bluey crud up? So, it's down to us then. Huh. Please. Not for long! Gah! Marvel has won! <clears throat> Ow! Thanks, Dr. Jones. You know that bats eat spiders. <laughs> I always saw you as more of a fruit bat. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Respect your elders. What kind of program are you? The Jedi kind. <clears throat> Whoa. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> That's for taking all the best artifacts. Yeah, but I didn't get to keep any of them. Funny. The last person to whip me also wore leather. Why'd it have to be bats? Everything I own is bat-shaped. Get with it. What's the point? They all have body armor, healing abilities, or superpowers. What do we have? Bullets and bullwhips. Would you like to go tomb raiding with me sometime? The next tomb I raid will be yours, Jones. <laughs> Dude, I'm blind! Stop. You will remove your clothing and weapons. Honey, do I look weak-minded to you? Done and done. What else has to happen? Ooh, you will put your clothes back on immediately. <gasps> Pogus, dude. Fascinating technology. Does it come in black? <gasps> no, but it comes in green. Oh. Ah! Quite emasculating. Mm. Huh? Ah! Mm. No! Ah! I've been revenge of the Sith! Now prepare to be sleepy hollowed. Ah! 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 Yeah! Oh. That actually worked? Deadpool, you, you are, are the, the ultimate, ultimate hero. hero. I'd like to celebrate by performing a dance move I just invented. It's called the torso. Beam me up real slow, Scotty. So while my limbs are regenerating, how about we pass the time by you explaining to me what the hell was this all about? In time, all will, will be, be revealed. revealed. Before, Before then, something, something else is needed. For as I'm sure you no. know, a hero is only as good as the villain. Que pasa? Arise, warrior. The battle is about to begin. Who's your daddy? Junior! If you can hear me, I'm trapped in an antechamber with four strange morons. Oh, I'm not strange. I'm his mentor, the Ancient One. I've been trying to extricate us from this room using spells from the Dark Dimension. No luck just yet. I think I'll switch to the Milk and Haze on that dimension. Believe that Deadpool triumphed. I cannot. Weak is he with the Force. I cannot believe that Neo failed. Does this mean he is not the one? Is the prophecy a lie? I should have stolen the Ring of Power and used it to conquer all. In place of a dark lord, you would have a queen! Beautiful and terrible as the dawn! All would love me and despair! Do not give in to sore losing. To the dark side that path leads. I do not take advice from deformed dwarves. <laughs> I am a 900-year-old Jedi Master. 900 years? You must be the really ancient one. Wait. I have a foolproof plan to free us from not just this cell, but the entire world. Can anyone see a landline telephone anywhere? No. 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 Well, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> this is intolerable. So, if you've made it this far... Thank you. That is a super heroic effort on your part. Okay, it's okay, we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. And we are right now working on the sequel to this, Super Villain Bowl. Exactly. We're in the phase one writing stage. Which stage you've just one. Seen. The phases are part of <laughs> stage yeah, four. Okay. The videos. See, the video. this is all covered in the other it's sandwich the making. Go back, okay? We had a I'm list. We're working up ideas. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the length of this gargantuan video. Thanks so much for sticking with it. And if you do want to support us, uh, jump on our Patreon or our shop. We've got heaps of merchandise. Or follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. The links are below. Now you can make me a real sandwich because I'm hungry. I'm not eating anything. <laughs> Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife. Why didn't you shoot Royce? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<coughs> no nej. Kan du äva hon? Prada, prada. Scarlet Witch. Nej, men ta. Så det var en hon och du. Reason for madness. I'm an orphan and a widow. It's cheaper at Christmas. I got to inherit twice. Double inheritance. It's really cheap at Christmas. Can I come to yours at Christmas? Wanna do Christmas together? Wanna have Thanksgiving at my place? <laughs> when you marooned me on that godforsaken ship of land, you forgot one small detail. Savvy. I'm getting worse. I'm so sorry. I'm Melissa McCarthy. Ah, crap. You complete me. I'm not gonna hurt him. I don't need help. Just because there's not a war doesn't mean there's peace. You idiot. You idiot. Just because. Die, Snow. Got invited to the Christmas party by mistake. Who knew? The fine frame that is. What? What? It is a bit obvious. Knock your punk ass down. This new Gandalf's grumpier than the old one. Walking carpet out of my way. Where are we? She's a bit croaky, hey? What system is this? Marvel before hose! Captain, big fan. Could he sassed. Excellent! I haven't known yet teeth. American. She's American. Yes! 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 Then perhaps she will. Dr. Lecter, mine? Clarice. Clarice, may I speak with you? You think my son will be that stupid? It tells me that goose-stepping morons like yourself should try reading books instead of burning them. I think those men are trying to kill us! Sharing your adventures is an interesting experience. Want to trade shields? Want to trade and laugh at me? What is a secretary? Now I'm going German. Doing badly. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Jake, we are mated for life. I'm with you, Jake. Die, human! Die, human! <laughs> Die, human! Ow, f hurt myself. No. Oh. Not for long! I'm f too far. I cannot train him. Sick have I become. Old and weak. When 900 years old, you reach. Look as good you are not, hmm? Why, oh, D.A. Yoda. Get him! Wait for me if you want. <laughs> I'm here. I can't stand back of it. It's not okay. This is the back. That's right, it. Right, That's right, the. Right, right. Right oh, shit. I've just moved up. Where's my super suit? Maybe that's where you're getting confused. Don't follow me. Ay, ay, ay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Would you believe I'm from the future? I will find you. I've decided I can't do Liam Neeson. In place of a dark lord, you would have a queen! No, I can't. Possibility. 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 You spent your whole life trying to wear two, two. Strange. Oh no! Oh no! Z ah, done and done.